What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Everyday Hustle. I'm Adam Ali. This is... Samia Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. Comment below. Let me know how your day is going. I got Javan here cutting hair. You just, how, Samia, you like my new haircut? Yeah. It looks good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though you have some white hair. Even though I got some white hair? Okay. Um, but I need your opinion. Yes. Okay, can you tell me, so I got a new beard oil here, sample. Can you tell me if you like the smell? Let me spray it on your arm. Yes, that's, that smells so good. It smells good. What I typically do is every time I get a product, I make a barber. I do it? Sure, you can, uh, you wanna spray it on me? Not on my eye. I know. Okay, okay. Okay, is it shining? Yeah. One sec. <clears throat> Y'all wanna smell my beard? All right, let's have Javan. Javan, shuffle. Up, up. <laughs> All right, so this is it right here. I like this bottle though, this is dope. Eh, I don't think I'm gonna go with that bottle, but. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bulkier than the original, mm -hmm. but it's cool though. Yeah, don't spray on Chef's head, spray it on my beard. Spray it on your beard. <laughs> You couldn't do much. Like okay, this is most definitely more natural, like you were saying. Most definitely, I can smell it. Okay, in oh, my so. personal opinion, though it doesn't have the same fragrance, mm -hmm. like the like the fruity orange one mm -hmm. that you were, that you had before, because it's more natural, I would always opt to that mm -hmm. and get the most natural, best smelling fragrance you can get out mm -hmm. of natural oils. So personally, I think this is solid. You think so? I'm complete. Think it's solid. I'd rather do this. Really? Yes. Big chef, time. chef said otherwise. I said otherwise. What you say? What you say? Uh, just the fragrance, other than the feel and the uh, moisturizer is still in there, but the, the fragrance, I like the I'm sold on the first fragrance. But I yeah. do like. I, I, I'm not knocking that one. I'm just a fan of the original. The original sense. is fire, but because it's natural, if you can get the most natural possible. That's the best. That that means that's mm -hmm. the best. Well, look at the ingredients. Look how clean the ingredients are. I read every single ingredient. And that's why I said immediately that's better mm -hmm. it's solid like i'd rather market that mm -hmm. than anything right. because people are we're in a generation of people like that organic that, of course that, like that they all natural mm -hmm. and so and that's less chemicals on your skin and in your beard so right right i, like I do more. feel like and it has shines more shines and more and this is way more softer this is going to make people's hair textures change mm -hmm. go with that big time for sure for sure but the scent is good enough the scent, in my opinion, is way good enough. If you smell other people's beard oils, they smell terrible. Mm. They smell terrible and they're full of chemicals. Mm -hmm. So, stick with what you get. Okay. No, like. Some good for reassurance. Real, for, real. for real, for real. Okay, yeah, I appreciate so. that. Well, there'll be a new scent coming out soon, I hope. Uh, Samia, mm -hmm. guess where I'm going? Hey, where you just get snacks from out of nowhere? Where you get them snacks from? Sent our seats from school. Sunflower seeds, are you a bird? This joke with you. Uh, so guess where I'm going tomorrow? Florida. Don't, don't tell me. Let me re read this. You almost got it. Say it. Nebraska. Yep. Nebraska? Nebraska. You ever heard of Nebraska? <laughs> well, what is happening is the tourism board of Nebraska reached out to me. They sent me this care package, this welcome package and they invited me to Nebraska, Omaha, and they got this, this awesome itinerary set up where they want me to kind of cover the city. And uh, so I'll be going to Nebraska tomorrow and I'll be taking you guys, of course, along. Yeah, Samia, see this? Look, Nebraska. Nebraska, the good life is calling. Never been in Nebraska. I'm excited to see. Money? Is there some money in Yeah, they gave me some money too. I already put it in my pocket. Hee 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 So yeah, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna take y'all with me to Nebraska. I'm gonna be there for the next few days. See what Omaha has to offer, highlight the city, and uh, hopefully it entices you for you to go one day. All right, I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning at the airport. Good morning. Hope you guys are well. It's the morning of heading over to Nebraska, okay? I'm excited. I showed you guys a little bit of my care package here. 
for the next couple of days, I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes of my trip and being in Nebraska. All right, so I'll catch you guys in the airport in a minute. Comment below if you've been to Nebraska or if you're from Nebraska. They planned out a, a, a very tight trip for me, full of things to do, so there's gonna be a lot to explore. By the end of it, I should really have a good grasp of the city, um, and hopefully, I'll come back. Catch you guys at the airport. I'm here at Carson, which is a wealth management firm, and uh, they're giving us a tour of their facility, a very unique built building. Um, their business model is pretty interesting. <sighs> Just locked myself out. Right, is the group in here? Yeah. Oh. One of the reasons why I'm here alongside with other creators is visiting various business entities here in Omaha. Uh, so Carson is a wealth management firm and I'm gonna be going to various uh, businesses in Omaha and take you guys behind the scenes of exploring what Omaha has to offer and all of the, I guess, financial businesses that is pushing um, financial businesses here. So, join the ride. Omaha reminds me of Montreal. Actually, fun fact, I was born in Montreal, even though I lived the majority of my life in Toronto. I was actually born in Montreal. But well, yeah, anyhow, Omaha is an up and coming city. I think in a, you know, in the years coming, it's just gonna continue to develop. Uh, my favorite thing about the city so far has been the sense of community. Um, people like hugging each other, like for real. Like I'm like, what the hell? It's very different. And uh, I, think, uh, I think a lot of major cities can learn from that. We're going to a cafe for breakfast right now. So I'll catch you guys at the, at the breakfast joint. It's lunchtime now and I decided to pull up to a juice store here in Omaha. I think it's called The Grove. Definitely has really good vibes in here. One of the reasons why I pulled up here is I'm starting a juicing business and you know I'm just kind of peeking, peeping what you know others are doing, getting inspired, trying out some of their juices here. Omaha has been pretty cool. The weather is a little chilly, but the sun is out, can't complain. It's good vibes. All right, y'all, we just wrapped up the Nebraska trip with this fine dining dinner here. I have two other creators here who are also in the financial space, uh, Taylor and Crystalline. Uh, what's your brand again? Uh, like, what do you go by? Crystalline? Crystal and Laura. That's like that, everything oh, on, on okay. social media. And Taylor? Taylor Lloyd, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys go by your name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if I if a if a supporter or a fan saw you right now and they asked you you know give me two advice, what are your go-to like financial business advice that you would give to them? Yeah, I think I will always say have a plan and strategize. Don't just mm -hmm. wing it. I know sometimes you don't you don't know what you don't know, but at least put effort into trying mm -hmm. to figure out what you're doing instead of just like jumping in without any education because I feel like you'll get further if you educate yourself. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Luck can only take you so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah you need a plan. Yeah. Luck and strategy is better. <laughs> yes. I usually 
always say um, to have a savings, um, usually enough to get you by three months worth. Um, you just never know like what might come up or if you're not getting the revenue that you expected, at least you have something to, to cover your, yeah. your basic expenses. Yeah, awesome. I love that. Well, I hope you guys found that valuable. <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you guys at the airport here in Omaha. It's time to say goodbye. Yes. Did you guys enjoy your time here? Yeah. It was it different. Was, it was. It was. It was nice. You're from LA, Austin, Texas, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Atlanta. We never thought we'd be here. <laughs> yeah. I know, but here Ever. we are. <laughs> here we are. Yeah. Hit the like button. Catch you guys in a bit. stores out there ah, bite you it's cool. so take them to an actual market that's outside and uh, see what we can get so I bumped into D Anthony he also does YouTube he, he appeared in one of my videos I did a long time ago. and he came to Zane's birthday can I get in another video please oh uh, well I guess this is this, this one technically beat that other video right? let's do it yeah so what's going on here? So this set is in there. So we are Sweet Honey Rose Company. We make all natural bath and body soap. All right. One of my favorite drinks ever is turmeric. These guys make some amazing turmeric drinks. They're called Turmeric Magic. Some good stuff. They're local. Um, plus, they're from East Africa as well. So I gotta support my people, you feel me? Their ginger is like, you feel it right away. It's like, ah! Serious stuff. Link in the description for turmeric. I'm also working on making my own drinks, but they're not, it's not a turmeric drink. It's a greens. Greens? Yeah. Greens? Your, dad, your dad's been like helping me. His, his dad has been kind of guiding me in the juicing world. So, I'm excited about it. All right, y'all, back at the crib. Had a fantastic time with the kiddos at the farmer's market. It certainly has been a busy past few days. Was in Nebraska, took you guys behind the scenes there. I really enjoyed my time over there. You know, when I went to this juice uh, store to check out, you know, three people after me all hugged the owner. And I was like, wow, there's really truly a sense of community here. Um, Omaha, Nebraska was a, was a great experience. Comment below if you've ever been there or you live there. Interesting enough, when I was there, several people were messaging me saying, hey, you're in my city. Uh, but yeah, I was just, they had a really tight itinerary for us there. So I couldn't really connect with people. But um, yeah, actually I'm going to Boston soon. Um, similar style trip where I'm gonna be um, highlighting the city. It's been interesting, I've been getting these cities hitting me up, wanting me to come there and document my experience and whatnot. So that's different, but uh, I'm down. Before I wrap up today's video, I wanted to share a thought with you guys. And the thought is, you know, when you're starting something, you have to allow yourself to suck because only then will you become vulnerable and become a student to learn and go through that process of absorbing and you know creating your voice a lot of time we hesitate you know in the beginning because we fear being bad and uh, it's important to just be vulnerable and go through the process and eventually you, you can be great all right be vulnerable it's okay to suck <laughs> okay you will be great you just got to start be vulnerable um, which leads me to today's business. Um, I want to highlight Sean Williams. He's the founder of Dad Gang. 
how it all started years ago he was uh i guess playing with his kid, kids outside or something and someone from another race said hey that's good that you sticked around and he didn't take that as a compliment it's truly not a compliment and then that's when he was you know he started this idea that i'm going to change the narrative or at least contribute to changing the narrative of black fatherhood and that's what founded you know the dad gang um, and he's doing amazing things he was actually being interviewed by oprah not too long ago he has segments on bet um, the network um, last year he had a a gala i was invited i got um awarded so i love what he's doing um and i'm super excited to announce that he's recently launched his new book it's called the girl dad amazing illustration great learning lessons in here and um i think all the fathers who are tuned in should definitely check it out it's uh, marketed for kids age four to eight fantastic book right here um it's great to know that you know someone who's in the similar space as me is also becoming an author if you didn't know i have three children books uh, but yeah check out uh sean williams book in the description below definitely wanted to highlight highlight him in today's video i appreciate you all for rocking with me today we were in nebraska came back to the a i really appreciate it all right I'll catch you guys in the next video subscribe comment like and i'm out Peace.